This animal's blood is worth more than gold, and we're draining it by the bucket. Meet the horseshoe crab, a creature that hasn't changed in over 450 million years. It looks like something from another planet, and in a way, it is. Its blood is bright blue, not red. That's because it's loaded with copper instead of iron, a molecule called hemocyanin. But the real treasure inside is a type of immune cell called an amoebocyte. These cells are hypersensitive to bacterial toxins. Even a few parts per trillion will make them clot instantly, trapping the threat. That unique reaction is the basis for the Limulus Amoebocyte Lysate Test, or LAL, which has been protecting patients since it was developed in the late 1960s. Without it, every injection, IV, and surgical implant would carry a much higher risk of infection. Horseshoe crabs aren't actually crabs at all. They're more closely related to spiders and scorpions. They've survived ice ages, asteroid impacts, and mass extinctions, but now their biggest threat comes from us. Once the LAL test was approved in the 1970s, pharmaceutical companies began collecting and bleeding horseshoe crabs on a large scale. During harvest season, they're gathered from spawning beaches and shallow waters and taken into specialized laboratories. A sterile needle is inserted near the heart and up to a third of the blood is drained into containers. Most crabs are returned to the ocean, but 10 to 30% may not survive, and those that do can be weaker or disoriented for weeks afterward. So why go to all this trouble? Because once processed, a quart of this blood can be worth over $15,000. That makes it one of the most valuable biomedical substances in the world, more expensive than oil, and in some cases, more than gold by weight. Hundreds of thousands of crabs are bled every year along the U.S. East Coast and in parts of Asia. The demand is enormous. Every batch of injectable drugs, from insulin to vaccines, and even sterile fluids used in surgery must be tested. And here's the challenge. There's a lab-made alternative called recombinant factor C, which is approved in Europe and Japan, but adoption in the U.S. has been slower, with many companies sticking to the natural method that's worked for decades. But this demand comes at a cost. In some regions, horseshoe crab numbers are falling, and that decline ripples through entire ecosystems. Shorebirds, like the endangered red knot, time their migrations to feast on the crab's eggs. Without enough crabs, the birds go hungry, and coastal life changes. Scientists warn that pushing the species too far could mean losing both a vital medical tool and an ancient survivor of Earth's history. Still, there's reason for hope. Some drug makers have already switched to the synthetic test. New rules are being introduced to limit over-harvesting, and conservation groups are restoring spawning beaches and protecting habitats. The challenge now is balancing human health with the survival of a species that's been here since before the dinosaurs and making sure its ancient blood keeps saving lives without draining them away. At Forever Green, we believe that beauty like this is worth protecting. If you want early access to our videos, behind the scenes content, and deeper conversations about nature and sustainability, join our exclusive YouTube community. It's where our most passionate viewers go to take the next step.